Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is June 3rd, 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible tells us that lawlessness will be one of the signs of the last days and that people's hearts will grow cold. Matthew 24:12 states, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Is this not the way it is today? Here's an article published from a non-Christian perspective that will add validity to the statement Jesus made in the above-mentioned scriptures. 20 Signs That Society Is Breaking Down and That America Has Been Overrun by Psychos In order for society to function successfully, people need to be able to trust one another. Unfortunately, we are rapidly getting to the point where it is very difficult to trust anyone and society is breaking down. Just think about it. Do you trust most politicians? Do you trust most lawyers? Do you trust most bankers? Do you trust the police? As you will read about below, even doctors are going absolutely bonkers these days. So if the upper crust of society cannot even be trusted, then what about everyone else? Sadly, the truth is that America has been overrun by psychos. Most people look somewhat normal when you meet them, but unfortunately very few people have pure motives these days. You never know when someone is going to stab you in the back, literally or figuratively, these days, most people simply do whatever is right in their own eyes, and that makes society a very unpredictable place. As the economy continues to fall apart, in future years, people are going to become even more desperate, and that is going to cause all this craziness to get even worse. Now here are some of the headlines. Cannibalism is alive and well in America, apparently. Down in Miami the other day, police shot a man who was literally eating the face off another man. Down in Florida recently, a crazed doctor spit a mouthful of blood on state troopers during a DUI arrest. It is quite frightening when even doctors are displaying this kind of psychotic behavior. A 22-year-old pregnant woman survived after being bound driven to Detroit, set on fire, and shot early Saturday morning. This woman, who was nine months pregnant, had returned from a movie with her boyfriend and dropped him off at his house in Warren when she was approached from behind, Warren Police Sergeant Dave Gifford said. The woman's hands, feet, and eyes were bound with duct tape. She was then forced into her car and driven to an unknown place in Detroit where she was doused with lighter fluid, set on fire, and shot once in the upper back, he said. And here, would you like to have your lips stapled shut and then be tortured with a power tool? Well, that's exactly what happened to one man in Utah recently. Another, a 26-year-old high school teacher in Minnesota has been charged with sending naked photos of herself to the phone of a 17-year-old male student. Here's another. For some teachers, one student simply is not enough. A 33-year-old art teacher in Arizona was recently charged with having sex with four of her male students. And this headline reads, Many of our major cities are turning into war zones. According to WGN, a total of 25 people were shot in a single night in Chicago recently. These days, most people do not seem to care if you are pregnant. Up in Seattle, police tasered a pregnant woman three times after she refused to sign a ticket for a traffic violation. And this one says, down in Georgia, a police officer recently kicked a woman who was nine months pregnant directly in the stomach. His superiors in the local police department defended his actions. Now this one states, after reading how police are behaving these days, it is hard to have much confidence in them. For example, 
Just check out what one police officer is charged with doing in Philadelphia. A Philadelphia cop was arrested over allegations that he abducted a 14-year-old girl, sexually assaulted her, and made her watch him have sex with a prostitute. Now that's America's finest right there. Now moving on, it says everyone knew that sickos and perverts were going to flock to the TSA so that they could legally touch people. But this is ridiculous. It was recently discovered that a Catholic priest that left the ministry because of allegations of sexual abuse has been hired by the TSA and works as a supervisor at an airport in Philadelphia. Now here's another one. One recent study found that 5.3% of all inmates in state prisons have had sexual encounters with prison staff. Now down in Arizona, authorities recently removed dozens of cats from the home of an elderly woman for the third time. This time there were 64 cats living with her. In the past, authorities had discovered that the woman would make a feline stew concoction with any of the cats that ended up dying. You know that things are getting bad when people are stealing from ambulances. In Spotsylvania County, emergency officials are working to secure drug compartments and ambulances following a recent string of thefts. Okay, and Flash mobs continue to rob convenience stores all over the country. The following is one recent example from Baltimore. And you guys can read that. It isn't just people on the streets that are behaving like psychos. In fact, a series of seven scientific studies has found that upper class people behave more unethically than lower class people do. As society is breaking down, more Americans than ever are taking pills to dull the pain. In fact, it is being reported that Americans are taking 80% of all the pain pills that are sold in the world each year. Sadly, many of these pain pills are extremely addictive and cause people to want to commit crimes so that they can finance their pain pill habits. Now here's the last one on this website. In 2008, a majority of American voters chose to send a radical Marxist con man who endlessly smoked marijuana during his early adult years to the White House. In fact, according to author David Moranis, Obama and his friends smoked so much weed that they were known as the Chum Gang. As a member of the Chum Gang, Barry Obama was known for starting a few pot-smoking trends. The first was called TA, short for Total Absorption. To place this in the physical and political context of another young man who would grow up to be a president, TA was the antithesis of Bill Clinton's claim that as a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford, he smoked dope but never inhaled. Now, if you guys are interested in any of these articles, you can go to their website and uh, I'll put the link in the box below. But each of the headlines have uh, you know, links to the full story. Now, in a moment, I'm going to give you guys the link to a video that is very, very interesting. It's a must see. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to continue along the same theme. And here are some headlines from Daily Mail Online. Engineering student who killed an eight roommate ranted about mass human sacrifices on Facebook and posted a photo of himself in war paint online. Is cannibal gay porn star a serial killer? Fugitive who ate former lover may have killed before, say police, as he spot as he's spotted drinking in Paris. Boy fifteen calls police on his parents because chiropractor mom and software engineer dad are growing pot at home. T 
teenager arrested after firing arrow into eight-year-old girl's back while she played in her backyard. Five bodies found in SUV burned beyond recognition in Arizona desert. Authorities say the dead bodies and vehicle found on Saturday in Veco, Veco Valley, a rugged mountainous desert area, is likely connected to drug cartel violence. Father accused of kidnapping and killing his infant son found dead in trunk of stolen car underneath diaper bag. Kind-hearted chiropractor found bludgeoned in his office could have been robbery gone wrong. Man who killed his housemate following a row over blocked toilet jailed for 10 years. And over here, spurned lover shot dead ex-girlfriend as she tried to drive away from him. And finally, every black man I met in Donetsk has been beaten up by racist. How one journalist was stunned by the bigotry in the Ukrainian cities hosting European soccer tournament. Now these headlines are merely samples of the ever-increasing acts of insanity that's pervading our society in America and indeed around the world. Now the Bible tells us that there will be signs in the sun, moon, and the stars in the earth and the heavens as well. Now I don't usually promote videos like this one, but it is, in my opinion, a must see. I'll place a link in the box below and strongly urge you guys to watch it. Friends, we are certainly living in the last days and although no one knows the day nor the hour, we will, if we watch, know when it is near, even at the doors. In addition to that, how many of us know the day of our own death? We could have a sudden massive heart attack, or be hit by a drunk driver, or any number of life-ending events. The point is that we need to be prepared to meet God at any time. Are you saved? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ yet? Follow the link below and pray the prayer of salvation with all sincerity, and you will be saved. It is my prayer that God bless each and every one of you with ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive. In Jesus' name, amen.